our first attempt to visit the front line close to the Donetsk suburb of Pesky ended in a loud bang. Actually, it was a series of loud bangs when we found ourselves under rocket fire by Ukrainian forces. We had to rush back to a safe area and then attempt to visit another part of the front line, which is held by the so-called Pyatnyashka International Brigade. Here is the commander, who is known as Abkhaz, suggesting his national origin. Если больше объясню, наверное, тем, кто понимает, что такое конный спорт, вот когда лошадь ставят перед стартом в стойло, вот и накануне того, как открыть калитки, чтобы они стартанули, вот, вот такое настроение, стоят. Visiting his brigade, which is the most forward outpost that is just 100 meters from the Ukrainian positions, wasn't an easy task. We had to sometimes take cover and mostly to run around one kilometer to avoid possible sniper fire. We came here maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago, uh, very close to the town of Avdevka, which is now a hotspot of uh, well, serious fighting between the two sides. This side is Ukrainian side. We are allowed to say just that we are very close to the town of Avdevka. Uh, only 15 to 20 minutes we are allowed to stay here. Fighting is a daily occurrence here. A lot of spent cartridges around this improvised outpost are the silent witnesses of that. The soldiers are not the best equipped and they are not in their prime. But yet they are very determined they are fighting for the right cause. <laughs> Любители нацизма, фашизма, их внуки, правнуки, они все по ту сторону. Ну, скоро это закончится. В ближайшее время закончится. Добро всегда победит. Dealing with dark and harsh conditions on muddy grounds and using a coal burning improvised stove isn't affecting their morale. They remain on constant alert around the clock until fighting is over. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, at the front line near Avdevka.